Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Somebody say a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And all things are of God. Who all things are of? God. Everything, the earth, is of God, ain't it? The land, God owned it. The seas, God made it. The people, he created. And all things are of God, who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. To quit that God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and has committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Now, then we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead. Be ye reconciled to God. For he has made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we may be made the righteousness of God in him. And if we could speak, let's look at that 20th verse. Verse 20 again. Being ambassadors for Christ. I said being ambassadors for Christ. If you will, let us go to the throne of grace. Each hunter and everlasting father. Father of our blessed Lord and Savior, Lord, I bless you today, and I lift you up. Thank you for this privilege. Thank you for another opportunity to come boldly to thine throne of grace and mercy. Lord, thank you for what you've already done. Thank you for what you're doing right now. And I'm going to go ahead and praise you in advance for what you're going to do, Father. For I know that all things are possible for them that believe. Now, Lord, I heard you when you said in your word, all have sinned and fallen short of your glory. But you said if we would confess our sin, you're faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And Lord, I'm praying this morning for a special uh, a blessing upon Dora, Lord. Lord, bless her right now. Undergird her right now. Strengthen her right now. A prior warrior, Lord. Strengthen her heart right now as she go forth. As she, with her contrite heart, prays for others, Lord. Lift others up, Lord. You remember her right now, Lord. And touch her in the name of Jesus. And everyone under the sound of my weak voice, Lord, I pray that you would let them leave the way they came. Let every soul that come, Father, every soul that's hard, touch them right now in the name of Jesus. Don't let them leave without being a blessing, not only receiving one, but being one when they leave these premises, Lord. And Lord, I'm just so thankful, Father, for our pastor, Father. Bless him right now. Strengthen him right now. Continue to dip him down into your Throw out some knowledge, crown his head with more wisdom. Continue to give him and Dora long life, Lord, and good health, Lord. For I acknowledge, Lord, I'm less than the least of all of your servants, Lord. But I'm so thankful today, Lord. Remember our evangelists, Lord. Remember our teachers. Remember our deacons, Lord. In the name of Jesus, every one of our ministers, Lord, covers right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord. And Lord, we pray right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that your spirit will. Cover these grounds, Lord, even when we're not here, Lord, for your divine protection right now, Lord. In every name that was called, Lord, every name that was in the heart of your people, Lord, we lift them up. We praise you, and we thank you right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. And even as I decrease, Lord, and you may increase, Lord, let your perfect will be done, Lord. Never, ever let them see me, Lord, but let them see you, Father, the one who saved me, the one who forgave me, the one who constrains me with your precious love, Lord. And when it all said, when it all done, you already got the glory. You already got the praise. You already got the honor. In the powerful name of Jesus, in his name's sake, I pray. Amen. Amen. Second Corinthians, fifth chapter. And this is the writing of Paul, the apostle. You know, Michelle said something in the scripture that she read today. And the last thing, word she said, watch. 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 People do not watch or even pay attention to their own souls. They go about each and every day like happy-go-lucky. Everything going to be all right. But now Paul looked in on this Corinthian church. 
and knowing one that had had an experience with Christ on the Damascus Road, that he saw the power of God change his life. And you know, when God saved us, we want the same thing for what God had given us to give to others, even as we meet people on this journey. But I just looked at life and I said, people don't even care about their life. People don't know that they got to be reconciled back to Jesus Christ. Got to be restored. Got to ask God to forgive them. Against thee and against thee only have I did this great sin. I ain't talking about my brother. I ain't talking about my sister. I'm talking about it me, Lord. It me the one got to get right with you. I got to come to you and ask for your forgiveness. Well, Paul got this great Forgiveness. The spirit of God. That's the self-same spirit that raised Jesus up from the grave. The Lord has placed that in the believer's heart. In other words, you can't be nothing. You can't do nothing without the Lord. You can't be nothing. So everything that exists, he may become. He made a being. He made a human being. If you're good looking, Nick, he made you good looking. You ought to give him the praise for it. If you're skillful and strong, then he gave it to you. You ought to give him the praise and honor for it. If you're a principal, I know you already do, but you give him the praise, honor, and the glory. In other words, so God had given this to Paul. He's looked in on the Corinthians churches. Nobody seemed to be loving, encouraging. So God calls us as ambassadors. See, I'm just a pilgrim just passing through. But now let me tell you something. You can't enlist to be no ambassador. You have to be appointed. You have to be called. You have to be chosen. Now, it's some specific and detailed uh, instructions that you got to have. Now, let me tell you the first thing you got to have. You got to be born again. You got to be born again of God's spirit. Of God's spirit. In other words, they must talk about their love and God. Yeah, they do go together. They go together, love and God. I know I've been changed. Ha, I've been changed because I love everybody. I love everybody. You can hate my guts. I still got to love you. Why? I've been born again. I know you don't want to hear me. I know you don't want to see me coming. I got to tell it. I got to tell it. I made him a promise long time ago. I will go tell it. If I just tell it all by myself. Don't mind telling it by myself. Because greater is in me than he that's in the world. In other words, he didn't put super on my natural. I got, I didn't have a supernatural experience with God. Well, Paul, I know what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. I didn't have experience with him. In other words, I got history with him. But let me tell you one thing. Go to John 10, 10, and you know it. You know it already before I say it. Thief coming but to steal, kill, and destroy. But I come to give you life. John, John 10, 10. When you have it, say amen. John 10 and 10. Let me get it. The thief coming not but to steal, to kill, and destroy. But I am come that they might have life and that they may have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd give it his life for his sheep. The good shepherd give it his life. God has always given. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Well, now you have been born again. You that has been chosen. You ought to give. As he is, so are we in this life. In this life right now. See, if, the, if, if men, women, boys, and girls really see that type of spirit, that's what's going to change the world, see? Not saying it and not living it. 
I mean, it got to be walking and talking got to be together. But now God gave us something through Jesus Christ when he saved us. He gave us his self-same spirit. If any man don't have the spirit of God, he's not his. He's not his. Well, I know what you say. I know you say you've been born again. I know you say you love God. I know you use his name. But now God ain't looking at the outside. God is looking at the inside. So now I say, an uh, 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 ambassador. I said, not for Egypt. I ain't talking about from the country that's overseas. I said, an uh, ambassador for Christ. I said, for Christ. I said, for Christ. Christ is the king of the kingdom of heaven. He got specific details and instruction. And the first one is, he said, be ye holy. Be ye holy, for I am holy. Be ye holy. Well, I know, I know you said you connected with Christ, but now let me see your life. Let me see your life. Don't just tell me something. I need to see something too. I need, and I tell you, they go together. When God called his ambassador, he equipped them. He prepared them for the journey. Ambassador Turner, Ambassador Nick, Ambassador Dora, Ambassador Pastor. In other words, he equipped us with something. He gave us the spirit of reconciliation to restore, to bring people back unto him. It's all about him. It's all about him. I'm just so happy he gave me an opportunity. This may be my last time. I don't know. But if I go out, I'm going out for him. If I go out, I'm going out for him. If I get all the way, I'm getting out for him. I can't help but give. He gave his life for me. His self-same spirit inside of me. In other words, I'm thinking about what he did for me. And then when I think about what he did for me, it makes me want to do something for somebody else. I want to be like him. Just like him. I want to walk like him. I want to talk like him. I want to live like him. He didn't equip me for the journey. I know they promote everything. They promote the Nikes. They promote the jackets that they wear. They promote the football team. They are quick to tell you, I come to represent. Well, I come to represent too. I come to represent Christ. I come to tell of his goodness. I come to promote his kingdom. I come to represent. I'm going to represent well too. I'm going to represent maybe my last time. I said, I don't know. This may be my last time to speak a word for him. I ain't going to go and leave with him tomorrow. I'm going to leave it all on the line right now. And if he let me live, I understand he may give me another opportunity. And if another one come up, I'm going to leave it all on the line there too. I don't know what he worth for you. I don't know what he worth to you. I don't know what he worth to you. I don't know what he did for you. I can't speak for you. I can speak for myself, though. That's right. That's right. That's right. Come and got me out of the casino. Right. Call me to come out from among them. Right. Touch not the unclean. Right. Be ye separate. Right. Oh, no, I ain't shame of the gospel because it's the power thereof. Right. It's the power. I got the power. Right. Try to mess around and taste it and see it. Right. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I got history with him. Everything I am, everything I ever hope to be is built on Christ. Keep on blessing me. Low down scow. See, I learned to agree with Christ. Well, what he said, he said, Melvin, you low down. I said, yes, sir. I said, help me. Melvin, you're a dog. Well, Melvin, yes, I am. Melvin, you're a phone caterer. Yes, I am. But I need help, Lord. I need help. I can make it if you help me. I desire not to do it no more. I need thee every second, every hour. Oh, I know you're too cute. You're too cute to say it. I know you're too cute to say it. You're too cute. That's kind of cute God can't use. He needs somebody that's going to get ugly for him. 
who going to tell it just like it is, who going to come just exactly raw just like he got it. Well, what you saying, ma'am, you were good for nothing. You were good for nothing until the Lord came and touched me and saved me and changed my life. What did he say? Everything brand new? Didn't he say everything was brand new? All things brand new. Go back to South Corinthians. Praise God. Therefore, 17. If any man be in Christ, so you got to see position is everything. In Christ. In Christ. Can I go in the arena of Sports and basketball for a minute. Yeah, See, on. we know about the forwards. We know about the guards. Yeah. We know about the center. Uh -huh. But you know, if you ain't got the ball, you can't do that. Uh -huh. So I got to have me some rebounders. I got to have me some rebounds to get to, to the person that can make the basket. Uh -huh. But now watch this right here. He said, in Christ. Yeah. So I got to be in Christ before I can get the blessing. Right. 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 What I got to do, I got to trust him. I got to believe him. I got to take him at his word. Yeah. Watch this now. Thank you, Lord. Therefore, if any man else in 17 be in Christ, uh -huh. old things pass away. Right. Behold, all things have what? Become. Become. You mean yeah, yeah, he actually able to speak? Mm -hmm. And it can become? Right. Become. Uh -huh. Being. Being mm -hmm. an ambassador. Right. He had to make me one, Rosie. He had to call me. He had to appoint me. He had to fill me with his precious Holy Spirit. Can I tell you? They say it's free, but it cost him his life. They say it's free, but it cost him his life. And it ain't free to me. Because he said, I got to suffer. If you love me. He said, what I went through, you're going to have to go through. But I said, those that suffer with me are going to do what? They're going to reign with me. I don't mind suffering for the Lord. I said for the Lord now. I said for the Lord. And the character of the Lord is all knowing. So he ain't going to put me in a place that he ain't already went. If he sent me, if he called me, then he already done went before me. In other words, he can help me carry the load because he knows what's the end of the road. He can direct me. He can lead me. He can guide me. Somebody been in a midnight uh, uh, hour for a long time. Somebody looking at me right now been in a midnight hour. Don't know how they're going to get out of it. Can I tell you the old folks told me to try Jesus. He said try Jesus. He all right. I dare you to try him. I dare you to call him. I dare you to trust him. So 18, he said, and all things are of God who has reconciled us to him, self, by Jesus Christ. See, you know, if, if you notice, I'm reading scripture, everything is about Christ. It's all about Christ. If you're not attached if you're not connected to Christ, then you can't do nothing. You can't do nothing. Well, somebody say, that's simple. Man, you're talking to me elementary stuff. It, it, it's simple. You up here preaching, I, I learned that in Sunday school. If you would, you'll be doing it. If you're really learning, if you're really learning, you'll be living it. You'll be doing it. Somebody told me, say, that you'll for, be yes, forever sir. learning. Yes, sir. Never. Forever, never coming. On here, on this side, you will be forever learning. Never. Just like a just like a little child. So you can tell a little child anything. They believe you. You tell them I'm gonna buy you a lollipop tomorrow. You know you ain't got a nickel in your pocket. But they looking for it. But I trust and I depend on somebody that got it all in his hand. He can show enough to deliver what he said. I can be a little child. I can let the father of all creation lead me, guide me. He is the potter. I'm just the clay. 
He know how to mold you. He know how to make you. Can I tell you just the, the God knows truth though? Can I just tell you the truth? The scripture said, you have not because you ask not. It's simple. That, that, that's simple. Well, why, what do you mean? I did ask, but you didn't believe me. You didn't put no trust in the great I am who provides everything. More than enough. I said more than enough. More than enough. Well, Tony, if he, if he gave it to you, Tony, what you said? Ain't it for somebody else? Ain't it for somebody else? If he gave it to you, if he gave it to you, he has somebody else on your mind. Oh, he know you'll give it. He know I can give it to him. I can bless him. I can put my word in his heart. And he will do exactly what I lead and guide and tell him. I you now. To quit that God was in Christ. He connected himself. He named himself to you. He'll put a name to you. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God of Brenda, the God of Rosie. He'll connect his name to you. The mark on you. That's why they hate you. He said they hated me and they gonna hate you. Well, I ain't doing that too. I'm gonna try to get some food. I ain't doing that too, but often they want to drink. I ain't did nothing but open the door for them to be kind and nice. I ain't did nothing to them. All I did was show them the love of Jesus Christ. I can't stand him. I hate to see him when he coming. He always so nice. Seems like he don't never change when I got a non-changing spirit that lives inside of me. He always trying to give somebody something. Always. He always trying to encourage him. Well, you can't stop it on it. You can't stop this him. In other words, I've been appointed. I've been sent. I've been chosen to do his holy will. Ambassador. Glory. To quit that God was in Christ, the world unpooted. To quit 19. That God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and has committed unto us the word of reconciliation. In other words, God had put that same self-spirit in you, forgiving us of all our sin, and then turn around and using your no good self. Ain't that a good God? Ain't that a good God? He gonna forgive me. And then turn around and put his spirit in me to help me to bring somebody else to him who wouldn't serve a God like that. The Bible said a fool would have said in his heart, there ain't no God. But in other words, why do people not care about their soul? Why do people think they're going to just wake up in the morning? You see your loved ones. And when you talk to them, they try to get you off the phone just as quick as I don't know what. They don't want you, but it ain't that they don't want you. They don't want Christ. They don't want Christ. And if they knew the way my knees skin up from praying and begging God, Lord, please don't kill them. Give them a chance, Lord. Let them bring them in in time, Lord. You did it for me, Lord. You said you're no respect to person, Lord. In other words, you can't stop me, though. You can't stop me. I know you're talking about me. All right. He don't have to call that much. Right. Now, he don't have to call all that much now. But remember now, the spirit lives inside of us. Right. So it's the time that the Holy Spirit will put you in check. Yeah. Well, you ain't got to call, but you can't stop praying. Hallelujah. And God will put them in a position. Well, he'll, they know what you got now. Oh, he got it. Oh, I know he got it. And I know he'll give it to us. But God put them in a position where they have to call on you. Now, I can't, I can't do nothing but give them what I got, and that's Jesus. I ain't got nothing else. I ain't got nothing else to give them but Jesus. Well, now the enemy said, now you ought to just leave them alone. They ain't right. You know they're using you. They're calling you because they want something. 
Well, Jesus told me when he made me an ambassador, he said, they're going to be around me just because they want the bread. But, you know, I'm just so good. I'm going to give to them anyway. I'm going to feed them because guess what? It's one person out there that guess what? The pig is going to be right. The pig is going to be right. It's going to come a time that somebody going to want this here. In other words, keep on working. It's a press way, ain't it? It was a press wing, ain't it? He called you to do it, didn't he? He equipped you to do it, didn't he? But guess what? I got some. I got some. But the ones that with me, I got to get them right. I got to get the ones that right that with me so I can send them out so when the pig can get right, they can go get them for me. Watch this now. Look at 20. Now, when we, now then, we are ambassadors to Christ. As though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. So now, the Father, he's in his son, isn't he? He placed us in his son, isn't he? Yes. When God save us, mm-hmm. He put His Spirit down in us. Yes. Remember, I say He had specific details and in instructions yes, for us yes, to go right. by. Right. The first one I said was holiness. Right. Right. God said, "Be ye holy." In other words, He makes us just like Him. Yes, Every one of us. In other words, I love righteousness. Yes, I am. I love his statutes. I love his commandments. And if I come across something, that's all I got to do is say, Lord, ouch. He'll pick me up and turn me around and place my feet on solid ground. And, and I can continue to do what he wants me to do. But now he equipped us like that. In other words, it ain't as you go. Now, he put this inside of you. Because you know the way that you're going to go. Oh, you can be in a rock in a hard place sometimes. You can be in a rock in a hard place sometimes. But the key thing is being on the rock. Along with that rock there, the rock of ages, the solid rock there, we lean to the rock. We lean to the rock. Christ, the solid rock I stand. Yeah, all those is sinking sand. So he said, for he had made him to be sin for us. Who is him? For who? Who knew no sin? Who didn't know no sin? Christ. And that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. So in other words, God given us the spirit and the ministry of reconciliation. To be able to restore, to be able to encourage just like he did. That's in other words, he said like this. He said, greater works that you'll do. Greater works that you can do. Where you can go more places. Have more opportunities. See, in other words, what God wants is a man, a woman, a boy, or a girl that would just say yes to him. Yes to his way. Yes to his will. Now, he don't care if you're black. He don't care if you're brown. He don't care if you're white. He don't care if you're red. I just want you to say yes. Well, what I'm saying yes to, you right, Lord. Lord, everything about you is right. You know what's best for me, Lord. I'll go where you want me to go. I'll do what you want me to do. Well, now, if he's with me 24-7, then each and every day, I got history with him. Well, he's so faithful, he's still waking me up on time. Every time I need something, he always making a way. I remember one time a couple of years ago, and I'm not working as much as I used to work, but I was working 16, 17 hours. And God had been, told me I, I really need to probably stop doing it. And, you know, just chill for a minute. And uh, 
I told Ann this you know, later, but I was working six in the morning, getting off at two thirty, being in another job at three thirty, getting out working at three thirty, getting off at two o'clock in the morning. And I, I, I almost seen that off the road a couple of times, you know, and falling asleep. But it was God that kept me. But not this, but not this last time. <laughs> this, last, this last time, this wake up call, I like to ran into somebody. Ran, when, when this, I know I've been asleep about 10, about 10 minutes. He the on his cold, dead sleep. Dead sleep. I can't forget what he done for me. He the one kept me. He the one sustaining me each and every day. I'm talking about the one he whispered in the ear and said was low down. The one that he said was a fornicator. You understand what I'm saying? The same one, he changed my life. He changed my life. Now I'm walking with him. Now I'm talking with him. Each and every day, he done made everything brand new. The language that come out of my mouth, it ain't the same language that I used to have. I take my car up there to the car wash. And the guy said, well, you know, don't, don't change Mr. Houston's days. Because that Negro will jump all over you. Well, they know that. Because they know who God is. Well, how they know? I told them. That's how they know. And you ought to tell them who what God done did for you. This house I stay in, God gave it to me. There's a whole house right here. You can't do no anything in here. I didn't say they wasn't going to try. I didn't say they weren't going to try. Because men of them, they won't succeed. I said they won't succeed. I ain't got to say now what. But open my mouth before God tell me other stuff that I can't have, God will do. In other words, he'll scatter your enemies. That buckler, that shield, that, that heals you, you got to worry about it. He'll fight your battles for you if you just be still. If you just say what he tell you to say, if you just do what he tell you to do. The connection, the key word is this, is Christ. Me and Christ is the majority. Yeah, they kept on saying we. Look, go, go back to 2 Corinthians. In 7, 2 Corinthians 5, Look at verse 7. He said, we walk by faith and not by sight. Sight is the flesh. Faith is the spirit. Trusting in God. Believing what God said. Acting on what his word tell you. I don't care what it look like. What it look like ain't what it is. It's what the man upstairs done told me it's going to be. In other words, if you say it, Lord, I believe it. Right. And that settles it. Amen. Praise God. He said, we are confident in, in eight. Mm -hmm. I say, and we'll rather be absent from the body mm -hmm. and to be present with the Lord. Yes, so in other words, whatever God got mm -hmm. or called me to do, mm -hmm. whether he let me live and do it on earth, right. I'm going to do it. Amen. And if I have some kind of way for the gospel say, have to leave him, mm -hmm. I'm going to be with him. So in other words, I'm in a win-win situation. Paul said it like this, and for me to live is Christ. For me to die is gain. I'll take wings and get away from Well, now anybody can say that when, you know, it ain't nothing like that come on them. Well, I said the same thing when I lost the job, no, no. I, I, I the one did it. But I said the same thing, no, no. When I had no house, no, no. I said the same thing when the, I was bankrupt, no, no. Said same, same, same circumstances they came. I, I'm just talking about, I ain't just saying this, you know. I trust and I walk with God. Amen. Joseph went from the pit to the palace. But the scripture said God was with him. Yes, well, what's the difference? What is the difference? God with me. What is the difference? What is the difference? Yes, I got to say the same thing. Yes, sir. Why you going to walk? This faith walk. And not have persecution, not have tests, not have uh, uh, all kind of trials. How you going? He told me that though. 
He told me that. Oh, that little godless shall suffer persecution. But he did tell me I'll never leave you. Neither will I forsake you. Yes, sir. Saying the same thing. Got a, got a new job. Got a new house. Got a new bank account. Got more strength. Why? Because he was with me. Conversation ain't changed. Conversation ain't changed. Conversation ain't changed. He ain't changed. The greater one that's with me. Walking with God. Talking with God. Living for God. He has equipped us as ambassadors to send us out to do his perfect will. To equip us. We grow in faith. Have confidence in the one who sent us. My confidence, my faith is in Jesus Christ. Now you don't know that I'm, I'm, I'm terribly frightened for standing up here. But cry, you know. But who I love, who I love the most. Right. Will I go with tears in my eyes? Right. Yes, will I go with they don't want to hear me? All right. uh -huh. I, will I go with they don't want to see me, Nick? Mm -hmm. I got to go. I'm compelled to go. Yes, Ain't he in me? Ain't he in you? Yes, Didn't he do it? Yes, Ambassadors, in other words, examples right. of Christ. Disciples, followers of him. Amen. Represent, Represent well. Amen. Many apostles, many preachers that was crucified. They said, well, don't, don't crucify me like you did my Lord and Savior. Turn me up backwards. I'm not even worthy. Oh, Lord, I done lost my job. How am I going to make it? I ain't got nothing in my savings. But God said, well, I'm still with you. Right. I didn't leave you. Right. I didn't forsake you. Right. I don't change. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. But sometimes we, we magnify mm -hmm. the situation yeah. Yeah. instead of magnifying God. He bigger. He bigger than any obstacle, than any situation that I can get into. He presents an opportunity to show himself to be God in my life. My friends need to see this Jesus in my life. My kinfolk need to see this Jesus in my life. If one thing that I did know, if nothing else, I was around them, but I know they were holy. I know that. I ain't seen no change in them. I ain't seen no change in there. What up? Right. I knew that. I knew it was the reverence of God now. I knew it's the reverence of God in their life. What does that tell you? You can stand ten toe flat. When God is your helper, when God is your leader, when God is your guide, don't make no difference. Come what may. I'm going to stand right here. I ain't going to move. I trust God. For God I live. For God I'll die. Well, I've been tested. I've been tried. Well, Melvin, you up there talking like you arrived. Like you, you done mastered this year. No, you, you ain't mastered. But I sure had a, a taste enough to tell of God's goodness and God must. I done tasted and see. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. I done tasted and see. And he can put his word in my heart to know that he has said just like I told him to say it. No, son, you ain't arrived. You show better than you used to be, but you show got a long way to go. And any of us that are Know that. Right. Know that it's by the grace of God that we hadn't been consumed. Right. Only by his power. Only by his grace. Look at John 15, 1 through 8. John 15, 1 through 8. 
Uh huh. Man. When you have to say amen. These, the Lord is speaking in these uh, verses. He said, I am the true vine. And my father is the husband man. Every branch in me that bears not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that bears fruit, he purges it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me. I am the true, I am the vine. Ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me you can do what? Nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you. Ye shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye may bear much fruit, so shall ye be my what? Disciples. But he told us how to do it, didn't he? It's abiding in him. Rosa, didn't you ask him to abide with us today? Did you ask him to abide with us today? So he'll do exactly what he said he'll do. In other words, just pray back what he tells you. Disciples, ambassadors, followers, representatives, chosen. Go to John. Go to Luke, Luke 10, 1 through 9. 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 When you have it, say amen. amen. After these things, the Lord appointed other 70 also and sent them unto two by two before his face in every city and place where he himself would go. After what things? See, God got to make things ready. See, he, he just don't help Hazlitt do anything. After what things? After he done prepared the hearts of the men to receive you. And after he done got those who he know going to obey and trust him and do his will. After these things, he said, therefore said unto them, the harvest is truly great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he would send forth laborers into who harvest? His harvest. His harvest. His harvest. So in other words, he know what's down the road on him. Right. And pastor, what you say? He don't pick no fruit until it's what? Until it's ripe. Right. He don't let you put your rotten hand on, on no good soul. Okay. <laughs> Hand got to be holy. The soul got to be holy. The one that sent you got to be holy. Right. In other words, scripture said he Amen. shall not know how to deliver his folks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He know how to do it. Yes, sir. He know where you're at. He know what your number is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In other words, yes, sir. I've learned. And I used to hear Pastor say it all the time. He said, don't, do, don't worry with these folks. Uh -huh. You talking to them. Uh -huh. You blessing them. You come to see about them. When they call you, you go. Now, if they belong to the Lord, the Lord going to come get them. Right. Don't you lose no sleep over none of them. Got too much to do for the Lord to get sidetracked. Right. But he's equipped me and prepared me with a discerning spirit. I know when he said go, and I know when he said stay. I know when he said give, and I know when he said don't give. Well, it all belongs to him. Did we read that earlier? Everything belongs to him. Everything. In other words, I ain't just got some. I got. I'm working with what God gave me. He wake me up every morning. 
Give me the strength. Give me the courage. Give me the boldness. Give me the wisdom to stand. I ain't just thanking them when I get to church. Or church. I ain't just thanking them when I go to work. All day long. All night long. All day, all night. Lord is my witness. Even in my sleep. See, the enemy don't bother those that ain't doing nothing for nobody. But but he told but he, but the Lord told me that when he saved me. Them the details and the instructions how he equip you. You gonna have these type problems. You gonna run into some people like this here. But you know what? I ain't move. I, I'm not moved. I got to stand right here. I got to do exactly what he said. What the scripture said, Tony, that he that loves souls is wise. Well, where well, God put his big investment in? People. Right. What are you putting your investment in? What are you putting your investment in? Look, examine yourself. Examine yourself. Examine yourself. Where are you putting it at? Not only your money, your time. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Only that, not only that, your land. Mm. Okay. Yeah. In other words, everything that'll tell you says hills, didn't you? Yeah. We rarely say, oh, Lord, it's hills, didn't yeah. it? Right. 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 Come on, that rich man didn't believe that. Rich, rich man didn't believe that, though. Oh, no, that rich man didn't believe that. He was going to be in them some more bonds and he's going to celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> well, this isn't your last night right here. It, you won't even see tomorrow. All right. oh, But if you put your trust in the Lord and follow his instructions, in other words, being in a, in a position, faith come by what? Well, do let nobody let you come in here and you can't get a position where you can hear. I don't care what nobody else says. do. I want to hear. I, I want to hear what the man of God said. I want to hear what the psalmist singing. I want to hear what the reader read. Because he got me here for me to hear. He's trying to strengthen my faith. I don't know what I'm going to encounter when I open up them doors and get in my car. But he know. But what you heard though. What you heard. Faith come by hearing. Hearing by the word of God. What nobody else talking about? Uh -huh. I'm trying to hear him. Right. Amen. You, act like a, you act like it look like I'm going to sleep if you want to. Uh -huh. <laughs> what it look like ain't what it is. Right. What it look like ain't what it is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can't help the body now. The body gets weak sometimes. Right. But the spirit don't never get weak. Yes, no, sir. I can hear. Yes, sir. I can hear. Yes, I can hear. Yes, And you can hear what you ain't hearing. You can see what you ain't. It seemed like that in see it. Because you're working with God power. It's a supernatural thing, y'all. I try to tell you, it's a supernatural thing. Unless God put his super on your natural, you ain't got nothing. You ain't got, you need the power. You need the power. And I know everybody don't act the same, mm -hmm. but I know what he done for me. A crazy low-down scoundrel like me, that he come to see about a low-down scoundrel like me. me Even in my worst, he yeah. still blessed me. Yeah. Mama told me, she said, look here, boy. What your daddy got away with, you never will. She said, now you, you gambling, you gambling breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And she said, you got a good job. You ain't always had dinner. Always, always had a good job. But my daddy was a gambler. Pure gambling. Mom said, don't you play with that boy like that right there. Don't play with him showing them them tricks. Don't do that. I broke my daddy when I was seven. So he already knew. Mom already knew what was in store for me. 
Yes, sir. But God put them up. God put the dice up. God put the cards up. God put the casino games up. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Well, what you saying? That he'll come in the casino and get you. He'll come in and gambling house and get you. Now these folks, these folks, these folks try to tell you that God don't go no places like that. Well, he got, you know where people at, don't it? He know where his people at, don't it? He go everywhere where his people at, don't it? His people everywhere, ain't no? People everywhere. Go to John 6 and 63. John 6 and 63. Almost through. John 6, 63. John 6, 63. Your name on the book, ain't it? If your name on the book, he come to get you. 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickens the flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are what? Spirit and they are what? Life. But there are some of you that believe what? For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and should betray him. And he said, therefore, said I unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of who? My father. That's right. So you got, a, you got a holy hook up here. You got a holy hook up here. He knows everything. He can be everywhere at the same time. He don't make up stuff as he go. He don't make up stuff as he go. Now he got prophets who he speak through. But it's already from the beginning. From the very beginning. In other words, he made up in his mind. Yes, sir. The devil tried to kill me when I was five or six years old. Bad as I don't know what. Bad, bad, bad. Jumped off the top of the bed, just like I'm Superman. And he hit nothing but the floor. Yes, Clorox, mama got by the washing machine. Yes. And I'm bad as I don't know what. Took the whole bottle, do you remember? Yes, Took the whole bottle of Clorox and drunk it up. Yes, whole bottle of Clorox. So he, he, in other words, he saw this day. He, he saw this day. He tried to stop. He tried to block this. But God had different plans. God had different plans. How many know God is greater? How many know that we serve a God that he gives us more than enough? You see, what I love about God is this. What his word decrees and declares and says, that's so. Yes, sir. See, a lot of people say, well, I believe with all my heart that my wife is healed. But it just may be a gradual healing. She may not be healed instantly. But now if God said that, I believe that. And if she has to go through each and every day, going to still stand on that. And gonna go through it with a smile on our face. Praising and glorifying God. Anyhow. 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 But the preachers today tell them just come in the line. Get your healing. My the hospital is free. They, 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 you can go in there whenever you want to. You don't see them just going in the hospital to tell everybody stand up by you that want to get healed. But they want to stage it so they can get some money. <laughs> but one thing about God's people, we he have not made us ignorant of Satan's devices. We're not. A lot of people come here and say, well, you know, you y'all ain't got but a few people over here. I said, well, but you ain't read the Bible. He said it's well, what's it gonna be? Gonna be few. That's right. That's the law. It ain't gonna be but a few. So what you looking at is a picture of what God said gonna be. What you what you saying is actually the word of God. Word of God. But now they don't know. So they react that way. Because they don't know. And if you would tell them different, since they hadn't heard it like that, they'll reject you. 
But you still got to love them. You still got to encourage them because that's what we call for as ambassadors. To encourage them, to show them the love of Jesus Christ, but just don't let them change you. Just don't let them change you. You can do whatever you want to do. You can do whatever you want to do. Let the wheat and the tear grow together. He said he'll do the separating. In other words, just obey me or what I tell you to do. I saw you then. What make you think I don't see them? I saw I saw that nation. What make you think I don't see this nation? I saw these people. What make you think I don't see these people? Watch this now. John 3, 1 through 7. John 3, 1 through 7. John 3, 1 through 7. And this is a teacher, or supposed to be teacher. Nicodemus, and we all know that story. But the key thing I want you to see in this year, let's start at one. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews, man in leadership, man leading people. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, mm -hmm. a reverend, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou does except yeah. God be what? Be with, be with him. Jesus announced and said unto him, Verily, verily, the truly, truly, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saying unto him, how can a man be born when he is old? Mm -hmm. Can he enter in the second time into his mother's womb and be born? And Jesus answered, verily, verily, or truly, truly, uh, I say unto yes, thee, sir. except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. Amen. That which is born of the flesh is the flesh. Mm -hmm. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. Right. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. Mm -hmm. Let me show you how much God loves us. If you, if you look at the scripture a lot of time, scripture kind of repeats itself. Oh, yeah. But God put in there helpful, holy hints for his children mm -hmm. that they'll receive these things. See, I want you to have it so bad. I'm trying to tell you how you can be born again. I'm trying to tell you the way to be born again. You can talk blue in the face to people. In other words, you can really give them the answer. Jesus tell us to choose life. Jesus give us the answer and tell us to choose life. And tells us repeatedly over and over and over again. But that shows how deep his love is for us. He want me to have it so bad. He want me to get it so bad. He put it on a platter and serving it to me. Then he showed himself by come dying, hanging on the cross, being crucified. Letting them whip him. Taking him from judgment hall to judgment hall. I'm showing you how much I love you. I'm showing you how much I don't want you to go to hell. Right in your face. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Then he sent you out. Then he sent me out. Be ridiculed. Uh -huh. To be talked about. But for Christ's sake. I said, for Christ's sake, though. Show me they did that to him. They're going to do the same thing to you. But through it all, me and you together. We can do all things through who? Christ, who strengthened us. Well, Paul got this picture. Paul got it and presented it and lived it. See, that's the key in living this. Well, Melvin, will I still see you tomorrow at work talking about the Lord? Can I catch you tomorrow evening at lunch? Will you still be talking about the Lord, Mel? Next week, will you still be talking about the Lord? Will you still be living the life that God called you yes, to? Whether come hell, come high water. 
it don't make no difference. But he said in scripture that you'll produce much fruit. If you abide in me, me abide in you. But didn't he produce? Did, did, did he birth the church? Did, did he produce it? Did he show us as example by us following him and doing it his way? Well, ma'am, you keep saying his, what is his way? What his way is? It's me agreeing with him and telling him he right. You know what's best for me. I'll go where you want me to go. I'll do what you want me to do. I'll live like you want me to live. I'm working with your power. Ain't nothing to me. Ain't nothing to me. Just being cold. Just being humble. And if the spirit wasn't in me, I couldn't do that. So it's a connection. All of him and none of me. All of Jesus, none of me. In other words, you, you talk like you, you sold out. Is what you said. Now I don't know that much. Now I, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know that much. But the way you said is that you sold out. Right. Every day you want to get a little better and better and better. Now he's sitting up here trying to say like he's sinless. He's standing up here in the pulpit saying he's sinless. But one thing I do tell you, in 22, I didn't sin as much as I did last year. <laughs> sinless, not sinless. Sin less. I sin less because of the love I have in God. And in the next year, it's going to be better than that. In the next year, it's going to be better than that if I'm still living. But I ain't sin this. But I got a word. I got a word that'll keep me from falling. I got a word I can depend on, Roland. In my time of need. In my time, God knows when I need it the most. God will put it right there. Yeah. Right. Have your enemy to come bring you some. Right. Have your enemy to work for you. Right. Same one that talked about you. Right. Bring your enemies to the door. Yeah. Make them feed you. Yes, sir. Hey, tell me what nobody told me. I'm talking about what I know. Yeah. What I know. Yeah. Who wouldn't serve a God like this here? And God has given us a great privilege to be an ambassador for Christ, to work with him in this ministry. Last scripture, Hebrews 13, Hebrews 13, Hebrews 13, and let's look at uh, uh, 5 through 8, 13, 5 through 8. Let your conversation, your lifestyle, the way you live, be without covenants and be content with such things as you have. For he has said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. So that we may boldly say, the Lord is what? My helper. And I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Remember them which have the rule over you. Who have spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow, 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 who faith follow who considering the end of their conversation. Well, what are you saying? These ones that speak into your life. It's the same word that they speak into you. They're living it. See, you got to walk it and you got to talk it. That's where the power come from, see. That's where the power come from. Your lifestyle. What you live, that, that's your conversation. That's what I hear. Even though I can see it. But I hear it too. Walk it and talk it. Consistent though. Cons consistent. 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 Day in, day out. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. What's that? What, what, what's that meal? Use that word, you know. The man tried to scare you, and you know, he called himself going to frighten you out of your. Boo! The man said, We ain't moving down, bit. Because Boo wasn't in him. Jesus was in him. 
they, they, they gonna come to you with more than boo. You understand know what I'm saying? Mess around and scrape your hand or something. They think you gonna cuss. They think you gonna cuss. This is this 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 this, this is with all my heart. As far as I believe. It's been so long since I cussed, I can't even think of it. It ain't been took out my vocabulary. I ain't talking about no slippers. I ain't talking about no bad language, talking, playing with them. I don't play with them. I don't play with them. When they start talking the old crazy, I don't, play, I don't even be around them. I don't be around them. You're going to catch me at two places. Or three. At church, at home, and at work. I'm coming straight on. You ain't got, you ain't got to call him and ask where he, where he at. It's 6 o'clock, ain't it? 6 30. He only went home. Amen. But that's, that's because the relationship, both of us understand one thing that we're going to love the Lord with all our hearts. And that same love is going to transfer from him to me and her loving each other the way Christ. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? Should have been divorced. If the devil would have had his way. Should have been divorced. But the devil didn't put us together. The devil didn't put us together. Mama, mama, mama told me this, Rosie. She said, when you get ready to get married, you make sure you take Jesus with you. You make sure you'll be sincere. Oh, God, I know I need it. It's going to take a good one. It's going to take a good for this one here. I know it's going to take a good. That she is right there. But she'll tell you, anything a black poor man could give, I don't hold away from. And she don't have to ask me. That she is right there. She don't have to ask me for nothing. And that type of attitude really he gave me from the beginning. But I have most of he had to deal with me all. <laughs> God told me to remind y'all of something. And sometimes, as Christians, I don't say that we forget, but sometimes we omit. We are climbing Jacob's ladder. We are climbing Jacob's ladder. We are climbing Jacob's ladder.